Hey friends, in this quick video, we will see CSS property named ascent color. So the ascent color property in CSS is used to recolor the ascented color of form elements, form controls provided by the browser's default styles with a custom color. Okay, so what is the syntax? Let's go to CSS. Syntax is element, a class with element and Send color to some color. Okay, so this is syntax. So ascend color is defined in CSS basic user interface module 4, which is in currently in draft mode. Okay, so it is not supported by all the browsers, but it supports Google Chrome, Mozilla Firefox, and Microsoft Edge at this moment. Okay, and this ascend color is supported auto as well as uh, color. You can give hex value as well as RGBA or HSLA value as well. You can also define global values like inherit, initial, revert, and unset. Okay, so let's see with an example. For example, we have one HTML form element progress. Okay, it has minimum value attribute, let's say zero. The maximum is 500 for example and value to be 250 okay and let's see as you can see this is default progress bar and go to css let's give uh, select the tag okay select element okay let's give display to block and margin 40 pixel is auto it will center this element okay let's give some width as well so you can see it better all right so now this is a default progress bar with this color okay so uh, if you want to change this styling of this progress bar you might have to uh, select this progress bar with uh, certain attributes but with this ascent color you can give color whichever you want so ascend color is green for example okay and let's see yeah as you can see the ascend color is now green all right so uh, let's see in other browsers this is microsoft edge and this is supported at this moment and let's see in mozilla firefox yeah it is working in Mozilla as well, but uh, I'm not sure if it is working in I, but I is not in picture at this moment as Microsoft has just announced that I is not in development. So, yeah. Also, this property is working for specific elements. The first element is checkbox that is input type is equal to checkbox. The second element is radio buttons. That is input type is equal to radio. The third is range. Input type is equal to range. And the fourth and the last element is progress. As we just see. Right. So this was a very uh, useful uh, CSS property. And hopefully it will be in fully development. And we can use it soon. All right. I hope you like this video. If you learned something new today, please give me a like. If you want to see more of my videos, please subscribe to my channel. And if you have any questions or any suggestions, you can leave it below. All right. That's all for this video. Thank you.